All right, what's up? I'm back for another episode of Final Fantasy 16. Ooh. Okay, I ain't mean that. I mean that on purpose, but hey, I did it anyway. But, whew, well, I'm back for another stream for the night, as I promised, and we, and we left off reuniting with jo on Joshua again for the first time. Dog, y'all, y'all don't know how happy I am to see those two brothers back, um, like you know, back together again and shit. Oh, and we just got done teaming up, fighting Bahama and, and shit. And thank you, God, their fucking mother is dead. Oh, and I'm so fucking happy. Like, dog, I don't even care if I, I don't even care if I didn't kill her, either as Clive, bro, because I already had a feeling that he wanted to kill her. Let's just like right off the start, like a little bit. Jill, she was on that. She was about ready to kill her. But hey, she killed herself. I'm okay with that. I hate her. Even though she's a little fond as hell, but I still hate her ass. I hate her guts. She's a she's a bitch. But I'm done. I'm not talking about her because gosh, she was fucking annoying. She was the worst. But let's just jump straight into the gameplay. And I hope I uh, hope you enjoy. Okay. Picture it, Conrad. Oh, Jill talking? Oh, here she is. The lady of the spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane? Huh? Commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. Huh? A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no, that there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. <laughs> if it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> fucking Clive in the back. Whose finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. <laughs> I played, my lady. Oh, my God. I mean, it may still be possible to. Bro, really like something. everybody got fucked up here. <coughs> ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill. At your service. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord. And how you were lamenting the state of the capital stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. <coughs> the nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners could afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. 
And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, <coughs> we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Hang on, guys, give me a second. <sighs> All right. It appears I have no choice but to do it. Mummy. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. <coughs> They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. The stakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept <coughs> occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. <coughs> what the hell? Oh! The women folk have come to work. I'll take that one. He's all yours. Come on. Brother, y'all not hitting me is so damn dumb. There we go. Oh, <laughs> 
I didn't know who was gonna hit me. Damn it! Nope. Uh-uh. Get the fuck out of here. <coughs> oh! Oh my god! That was beautiful! Come on. Get the fuck out of here. What? <laughs> you dirty motherfucker. The townspeople, could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad oh, seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Come now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. So, All right. so much as a buy your leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? I'll see what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's fang. 
He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Then that's where I'll start. Oh my god, that's far. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Never mind. Who the fuck is that? Be safe. <sighs> Bitch, excuse me. Why are you a A? My blade yet. Whoa, 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 what the fuck did he do? What the fuck? What the fuck? Damn it. Thank you, boy. There we go. This nigga going on the ground. No. That's just cheating. What? That's bullshit. Oh my god. Damn it. Good girl. I don't know why I thought that I could like easily like parry that. I'm a dummy. Hell no, nah, bro. I'm not letting that shit slide. What up, bitch?
No. No. Oh, 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 what the fuck did he just do? Well, good news is he didn't cast my attack. Won't be able to see. Fuck, 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 fuck. Nope. Nope. Damn. I know he's going to the ground. Like it was, bro, it was a prank. Bro, get the fuck out of here. All this damn fucking karate kid ass shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Nah, bro. I'm going to hit your ass with this JoJo. Damn it. I was about to say, if he killed me right here, I'm turning this shit off. Those who kill for sport deserve no better. Bitch. Come on, Rosaria. No, I don't think that's a name. Oh. Ambrosia. Oh my god, how the fuck did I forget the damn name? Be safe. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? 
Certainly not a baker. Master must have rude a day took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. Now look at her. I take it you missed the mother crystal. I hated her. But she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin. But I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, Daddy. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her, how does a shell of a man learn to live again? Try to remember the good times. Do that, and the Mother Crystal will be with you no matter where you are. Even in the bakery! What a fool I've been! Thank you, my friend, thank you! You've opened my eyes! I have to get back there right away. Farewell! That was easy. Wait. Suppose we won't be needing an escort then. Whew, thank God for fast travel. And rest in peace for loading times, golly. The bandits may be known, but look what they left. Ah, there you are. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, it's ready. Behold. The Drake's Bar. A truly unique creation. I dare say it is. <laughs> Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the Fang without her crater? What? No fang at all. And look, inside, she's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the fang. Uh, well, if it tastes off as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. Not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight. With any luck, I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. Bro, I just said one thing and his spirit was already lifted up. It was weird. Hang on a second. No, I could have one hundred percent swore. I thought I changed this shit.
This looks like a powerful ass attack. Okay. It's everybody. Martha, it's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill. Otto said you've been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies all happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hell. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Do you think there are as many as Martha says? More. You don't think they've... Abandoned us, do you? Oh, sure, what the? I'm about to say, is this? Did they just block the bridge? Might us a few moments to say our last farewells. Okay. Hey, girl. Ready, go? Damn. Clive, wounded. <laughs> we deal with the Akashic first. Mm-mm. Mm. There we go. Let's try this out. Damn. I'm cold at this shit. Mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wade's men. But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you looked after. 
reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Mother! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels, and they got wounded with them! Well, time to go, re time to go rescue Wade. After everyone here, if any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. will be safe now. Come on, have you met these two? Well, actually, three, cause Togo. Can't cut the. Can't cut the. Can't cut the little doggy out. My dogs. Okay, this creepy ass music gotta go. Thank you. I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? You. Nigga, is that a giant action turtle? Damn it. We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty. <laughs> oh crap. the distance damn it what the fuck did this nigga just do to me don't nope, get the fuck out of here Damn shell is too damn thick. Oh no. Oh shit. Nope. I love doing that, bro. That is so a fucking JoJo reference. Triple parry, that's embarrassing. Take 
Yep, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Booyah! I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down East Pool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Sorry, I didn't want to go on that goddamn elevator. I'm sorry, I'm not lazy. <laughs> Damn it. Did that motherfucker get over there? Okay. Something's coming. Oh my god. Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Nope. Only the first round to wait. Shall we? Nigga.
Yeah, missed. the last of them but it won't be long before the next lot arrive then we make for Martha's as well we can what did you find out there the same as Sir Wade the scores of Akashic well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? Damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. <laughs> Someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. All right. Well, go on then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes. So wait. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar. But I'm a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. N n not that so Wade and the other guardians are. I mean to say that. Uh, <laughs> I like him. It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. Clive. Can he be so bad? Clive. Know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. Alright, now that's two. Now let's do this last one.
lord. The lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a Kashyyyk, but... Different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. A Kashyyyk, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. Please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days! What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people, your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. Mm, get you there. You have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered, or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Ah, oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort. But I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family in Moor. I heard the flood was spreading, so... I went to see if they were all right. In the back of them glowing... ...things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. My family... They're still in the capital. It's all right. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Josie first, then me, and then... Then they were just... gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. Well, I guess we're doing more running.
Ah, you son of a bitches, y'all tricked me. They could do to escape. Just left the bodies there in the flood. Ready hey, Ambrosia. Oh, that's bullshit. Damn. Why did I do that? Yep, you're done. Like that is that move specifically, that is straight from JoJo Bizarre Adventure, bro. Do you think there are more? There are always more. I don't care what nobody say. That is straight from JoJo. Thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, the lady. 
The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. Nah, it's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. Oh! And chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. Let's go and put Otto's mind at rest. But first, there's something I gotta do, and I found this out the other day. So apparently, oh my lord! So apparently, there's a sword that I can get, and it's not just any sword. And oh my fucking god, y'all cannot tell me that's bullshit. Oh, that hurt everything in my soul. God damn. Oh, y'all say fuck me. I'd be happy to tell Otto everything that happened. But I know he appreciates it when you spare him the time. Did you see that? from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Right. Five... We knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Arr Thank you, Otto. Damn, you're just gonna take me straight to that to that damn scene, huh? That's crazy. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. Afraid to wake. Tybert reached out to him sooner, 
warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You are special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist oh! is everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind's not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. Sorry. Inside you. <laughs> With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> oh, no. Kashuk at the gates of Canver. <laughs> well, what's the short of it? Brutal. Tyre told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. Well, they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Mm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> That sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This rope, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Yeah, so, nigga. Bed is where you should be bound. 
You don't think I told him the exact same thing? <coughs> if I am not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. Go to bed! But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant. Go back to that fucking... You're an idiot, but I like it. Wait, Jill's not coming with us? No! We need a big three here! Motherfucker! <laughs> My attendant was with me in the Dominion before I primed. She would have watched the battle unfold and witnessed its outcome. I trust you'll be waiting for me in Tabor, where I can finally introduce you. <laughs> Oh damn! It actually slipped my mind because I forgot that I forgot that old girl. She was with him. Wait a second. Where's Torgal? Eye for an eye? Is everything all right, Goose? You seem more discomposed than usual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. Oh, I think Nan might be in trouble, and she's. <laughs> it's all right. You can tell me. <sighs> there was a trader came by. One of our usuals, like. Said he'd heard some rotten rumours about her down Dallymill Way. Folk are saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but... But she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but... I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. Y you'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. Bro, that nigga training. <laughs> trade then both in and out of the hideaway hmm. can't complain wait fuck what exactly are you getting at not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care but here you are today raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto just asking out of interest all right. I'm here because I was told. Yeah. Certain rumors have been circulating about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? <laughs> I, I, I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be there were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right, Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. 
I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. <laughs> Good day. Good day. Seems the hideaway is lost it. For a second, let me ask her real quick. Here, you put me in this situation, Clive. You can <coughs> bloody well get me out of it. I need a hand with a recipe. Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing, thank you very much. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. Wait, what? You remember Ivan's stew, right? Well, despite the look of the thing and that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but well. It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Ivan had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen as playing favourites, I suggest you lend me a hand. I've never been one to play favourites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of Skyworm. That's one heck of a name, innit? Ew. The recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a tea. Only, turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Used to say the ingredients even exist anymore. Wow. Well, that's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? Kindly old fella who wants the shelves, maybe? Fine. I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps he'll know something. And if he does, I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to uphold. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded, <laughs> and that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth, along with some other things that made her feelings clear. While it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. Why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right! No, it's not. But people do things for all sorts of reasons. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find out. No. Trader, he said they were all talking about her in Dalamil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me, you'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Oh, right. Well, that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? <sighs> I suppose it is. Boy, I thought this mission was done. In fact, the young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find Skyworm livers and Drake's mint. Ah, so the fabled Sambriqua delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. <sighs> the descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. Skyworm 
is a somewhat antiquated name for the wagon, their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers? Yes, how very sabrequire. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wagon, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the Drake's Mint? Saint's Bonnet, in contemporary parlance. A herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone. So I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life. In which regard, fried mortress of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach, then. Best of luck, Clive. And do save me a bite once the dish is complete. Damn, this should hurt. Just yet. Oh, but you was going with yay. Bruh, all four of them back together again. Out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gavin, the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. Run like the wind. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they will allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. Oh shit! Come on. Come on. Damn it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way.
But here I got a chest though. Ready go. Nope, fuck out of here. Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Damn. Ugh. The rest. You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this turned every last one of there's a village not far from here Tabor the people were kind to us it's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance we can't let those monsters Reach the <laughs> go. You catch your breath. Thank you. Our encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not reach Tabor. Forgive me, Lord Cooker. Rest well, soldier. You said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Ah, fuck. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Right. We got here in time. Even the people?
Someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg! That doesn't sound like an Akashic. You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. seem familiar. <coughs> have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. Uh oh. Son of a whore. You're sent. I was there in Kosnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kuka shall be avenged! No. When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, Come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... Some... Man... Like you or anyone else? I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Oh, okay, I guess that's it then. <coughs> Come on, faster. Uh, how much farther we gotta go? Nope. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Finally!
Lord Marquis. It is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of his grace, Joshua Rosfield, keeper of the flame of the Phoenix. Of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit in the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. Oh! Since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fan, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. Oh, not this council bullshit again. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave. Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The Rome teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you! Who died? Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded. But I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues... Do you not see? The king he has come to save us from the Akashi. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. Mm -hmm. Ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! Oh. 
Enough. Bro, yeah, this nigga did. Bro, he pulled a Virgil. Pathetic creatures. Let you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Mythos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, Your Majesty. Come, Mythos. Surely the Prince's light cannot have sated you. Bro, this killed everybody in that fucking room. Just with one fucking swing, bro. That's tight. Fucked up, but tight. So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? Wait, is that? It is old, ancient, even. Naught remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omiya lost the land to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, oh. I... You have my word. Oh, I think she's in love with this nigga Joshua. I think it's obvious. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, you say.
Let's find our friends. for you very deeply and I her which is why I had to let her go now what Cyril how fair is the search well, Your Grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged, at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, Knight of the Undying and Bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix, and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. <coughs> For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your grace. Damn. It's a candle there. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> Cyril seemed very, uh... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Ah, Lord Rossfield. I'm afraid I cannot stay to talk. I must leave to collect the reports of our spies in the field. Now that you wear the Phoenix down, our brothers and sisters will no doubt reveal themselves to you too. Farewell, my lord. Oh. And may the firebird's flame burn ever in your heart. Bruh, this is some of This is like some of Assassin's Creed type shit, bro. A secret fucking Yeah. Wait, if these niggas do not sound like the bruh, if these niggas do not sound Oh, like like some Assassin's Creed Titan oh, niggas, bro. I don't know what it is. Why is there giant fucking ogres, bro? Damn, I ain't had to do him like that. But I did anyway, cause I don't give a fuck. <coughs> bitch! 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 Bitch!
This is not good. Still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Oh my god, bro, my back. Well, okay, I want to get these missions out the way real quick. I'm getting tired of looking at them. There's the big bastard. Could be I know something more. Clive, listen. I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? Go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price, be they knight or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged, more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good Reaper herself. <laughs> and you've seen this Reaper at work? Aye, it just so happens I have. You'll find her right here, plying her trade most days. Here in Delamil. Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, if that's all, I have places to be. Sorry to have kept you. <laughs> You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? Oh, my lord. She's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this stall he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. You too, Goots. The finest shell swords in storm, but no. Fuck. The gentlemen of the town guard are a strap of thumb. Sick, you're gonna make me run all the way around to do this shit. This is stupid. You fought very bravely. The safety of the town is in our hands. Time to brave the viper's nest. Just you, is it? Hmm. I thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. Now, who is you? It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? 
That's up to you. Die a slow death, or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. Just know y'all niggas are finna get your asses whooped. I got the combos. Ah, oh, shit, we got healers. Come on. That was fun. Oh, you've done it now. Nah, you done it. Tell me what I've done. Oh shit. He finds out you've killed his men. He'll have your head. He only wants full of a man servant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. Then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward! I need to find goods. Right now. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lad. Wait, what's going on? Stop calling me names and stop spreading them honorable lies about Nan. <laughs> well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood. Blood! Are you all right? He, he, he's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you, only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Oh! Promise me you won't hurt her, or I'll, or I'll, or I'll kill you myself. Goot, no. Enough, all of you. What? Karen, where 
How did you? You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in my fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan back then, wasn't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense. But I see you're the same pants pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. You. You. Bitch. Everything that happened. It was all your fault. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck happened? Goose, you... What the? If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Did he just knock up? <gasps> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, sir. Wise words. And now it's time to collect. Sorry to keep you waiting. Dad? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean it. Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same routes. He said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry, lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor goose into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but... What if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. But something tells me that Wet Legs has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. ta -ra, Clive! Remind me never to cross you, Karen. Is that it for the mission? I hate this game with everything in my heart right now. <laughs> Lord Jesus and all Almighty. There were ghosts at the gates, not days. You needn't fret. The creatures are good. Ready, go. Run like the wind. Don't get surrounded. Oh, 
Empty said I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. Bright blue dragons and bright yellow flowers. Should be easy enough to spot. Shit. This must be our wyvern. Alright. Let's get this over with. No! Come on. Was that Joshua? Yep, you're done. That's the Wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. Bright yellow with a heady scent. <coughs> and all to complete. I think that's everything Molly needs to resurrect her recipe. Better head back. Whoops. Seems the hideaway has lost its appetite. So, did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Blueback wyvern liver. And uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern livers, was it? Well. At least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Now then, you stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to do. Let's hope these grand old chefs of yore knew what they were on about. And here we have it. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Well, I say offered. He as good as begged. And rightly so. Is there any higher honor than partaking in a slice of culinary history? <coughs> Damn. So, not. Fit for consumption, then. What? What witchery is this? <laughs> the crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet, it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. My nigga, you was nearly on the ground. A force, a force of nature, even. A maelstrom of flavor and sensation. A graceful beast emerging from centuries of slum. I think he likes it. Well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sid, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women 
to procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith. I'll give it some thought. And now the last person I gotta talk to. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul a goat. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whip for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. Why, you big lump. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as maybe. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dallamil. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. Oh my god, finally! Oh my god, what did I do? Just tails plucked out of thin air. You see, there was a time when I weren't too particular. This shit set me up. Still too, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me? I were always one foot gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies. Stabbed my every client in the back. Made myself the most hated woman in the twins. Well then one day, one day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He were true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. Told me about his plan to topple the mother crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint gill. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest dam in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. Not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say, that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up, or you'll have me to answer to. Oh, I thought it was a side quest. Ooh, 
that looks fire. It lost you a good while. I like it, even though it's green, but I like it. Sounds like thunder. We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. <gasps> oh no! His way. uncle! Oh no! Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Oh no! Is that who I think it is? <gasps> yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. I were even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Joshua! Hey! <laughs> yeah, what is wrong with you? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! I don't think this thing can get another heart attack! <laughs> it's really you! I never thought I'd see the day! Come on, man! <laughs> okay, no. No. But I was expecting his it's uncle to be here! Uh, that's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. <laughs> Keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Well, I guess this is me and you, buddy. <laughs> Alright, Togo. Let's find those survivors. They don't stand a chance against those things.
All right. Wait, hold up, wait, wait, hold up. Ah, fuck. I don't think I can change my damn gear. I don't think I can change my damn icon. Wait. Yep. Fuck. Alright, who's going first? Who's gonna get this JoJo treatment? Ah, fuck! I didn't time it! I'ma get it, I'ma get it next. Oh, hell no! Lightning and he shoots fire. Go. Yep, you're done. <coughs> mm, sorry about that. Whoa, okay, that's a lot of that's a lot of niggas. But no, you gotta go. Hell no, my dog. Bruh, what the fuck? I'm sorry, y'all. I just love this goddamn move so goddamn much. change it
All right. Big fat motherfucker. Bro, that felt good. Y'all niggas are pathetic. Give me a real fight.
Bruh. A coward's move. Kidding me? Big, ugly, fat, motherfucking son of a bitch. This is the Agora, where the city's leaders gather. There may still be survivors inside. Bro, this is a whole big ass area. I fucking knew it. These creatures. This ultimate reach extend this far. What the hell is going on here? believe we've been introduced you were in my family's crypt and now you're here with an army of akashic thralls manners lord rossfield they are men like you and me albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness they are pure they are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this <clears throat> indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am the man of House Harbor. And you will yield. Ah, oh, gray. As long as you don't hold back. Whoa, what the fuck?
What the fuck is happening? Again? Come on. Whoa! Ooh! 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 Fuck. You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Watch closely, Mythos. Whoa. Yes. Yes. That's not good. I could never time that shit. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Dog, this is so unnecessary.
There we go. Get the fuck out of here. Not this again. <clears throat> shit, shit, shit. Still hits me with that shit. Bro, can he stop teleporting, bro? Finally, what is teleporting spamming ass? God damn. Bro, I was I was getting annoyed. Like real talk, I was getting irritated. The vessel is strong. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. What the? Oh no! Leaving so soon, Mythos. It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharn. Warden of Ash and King of Walu. Get back. Nigga, we fight him already? Bruh, come on, bruh. I don't got no I don't got no potions.
Okay, now he's just showing off. Damn. Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my lord commander. But I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your mission is a cancer. One that must be excised. I think it went prime! <coughs> Nigga, what the fuck is this power? Bro, why the hell would you go Shiba? Bro, <laughs> this little thing got my sword. He got my sword. Bro, he just used that power of that sword. Will he be all right? The phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why do I do so much trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wonder what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. My nigga, he used one attack. And where's Jill? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. You would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. 
Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. And he's awake. My boy. Oh. <laughs> All I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. Please. What of the royalists? And where is Jill? Fucked off, the lot of them, <coughs> along with the galleon. With the king on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. Clive. Jill. Nigga! No! She kept the king busy while the others stretch you out. No, no, right, no. Huh? That is fine. Huh? The ether of her icon endures. As long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> we must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose you might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. <laughs> Bruh, my girl Jill got snatched? Again? Right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Cole said it was an army of a and you know what I just realized? I oh, have been I didn't even get a damn fuck! God. But if you're in, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right, but it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. Ah. We were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items would go to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. My father like, oh wow, I'm dead. Amber. 
Alba and the Lazarus ago. Do you think this ship will ever sail? This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Uh, it'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. What do we have here? Uh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. <laughs> Seeing this doll in Sid's cellar, I wonder if it was Mids. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. So Sid hit some. Whoops. Its first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. Tone deaf as a banshee, unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than more, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> you surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Yeah, these little kids. I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestra. <sighs> What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. And you had nothing to do with this. No, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we pressed all the buttons. That means you broke it. Yeah, new music. Hmm. 
Never heard this one before. Uh, wait, what? They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. Uh, let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. True. And it's gonna just just gonna take me straight to this. Okay. Just the two I was looking for. Hi, hi. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Huh? Dion left. Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's Keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? <sighs> Ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. That part. But if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? That part too. Every moment I waste here, the further the flagship sails, I have to get back. Wait, are we about to agree to move the ship? I'm all right, Clive. <coughs> My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The INAR is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. I like mid. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas' thumb? Only what the bards sing. When he sailed to Ash from southern lands. It was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. Bro, that should not be a damn we fucking weapon. Over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cove was meant to be hidden! Ah. Come 
company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready. But hurry! Bullets! All hands! Back your stations! Fucking the dog! <laughs> I love how the dog is ready to scrap. Here they come. Big fuck! That is not cool. Bye bye. Finally. You heard the captain. Clive. Bruh, come on. How the fuck is he still alive? But I thought he was confounded. Then it is as I feared. Oh wait, or is that Ultima? Sleipnir is no man. But the creation of Odin. What? Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? Oh, this is creepy. Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? Oh boy, there was a time people called me the executioner. <laughs> no matter, head will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! <coughs> you leave! 
We follow! Polo! Swimming, are you? Oh, bugger me! Weigh anchor! <sighs> Engine's dead slow ahead! Oh, no, bro. This... That's fire. Have care, my friends. It's not blood that runs through in Eggie's veins. These foes will not fall easily. But they will Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! <laughs> <coughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Perry. Time to go. How about Clive? Boy, you better make that jump. <laughs> if that's not clutch, I don't know what is. What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. You are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Oh, I can't wait to beat your ass and so I can take your fucking power, bro. Cause whoo Now back to your stations! Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the galleon. I 
don't suppose Mid has a spare engine? <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandonar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. <laughs> Good luck, Uncle. And a fair wind to tend you. <coughs> As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. <laughs> Boy, don't pass, bro. Don't fall into the damn water, bro. Wait, nigga, ah, Somehow nope. Can we? We would never hear the end. Nope, I fucked up. I was wondering where that light was where that light was coming from. I forgot they can do that with the um, with the flame. Yeah, you're still hurt. Oh yeah, you fucked everything up, my dude. Bro, this whole town is all fucked up. Oh, fuck. No. I want to end it. I need to end the stream. Oh, my God. Ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. <coughs> knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us are anyway. I say we do as she tells. No, what? Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Look alive, boys! Pull ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye. If 
feel that, Jill. <gasps> All hands! Battle stations! Let's see what this girl can do. My every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. In the fuck is this power, bro? Well, we're going for it. Bro, Joshua got. Can I just say I love Joshua's fucking prime form? That looks so fucking dope. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. <coughs> oh my god. Do y'all know when to quit?
big fucking cheater. Bullshit. There we go. And round two. And you're done. Bro, the ship! Okay. Oh my god, I hate you healers. Stop healing people. That's a big homie over there. Can't touch me. I'm cold. I'm cold.
Okay, she has been here. Bruh, how big is this goddamn fucking boat? There she is. Oh, Clive, how did you? I'll explain later. Pads. Can you walk? Out of here, I can. <laughs> Before me, but a guttering flame. <laughs> yeah, you bit cheater. Bro, I love this game. Bro, I can barely hold it. Bro, that impact was so strong. It cut the water in half. And that's not good. I don't think she can, bro. <laughs> What the fuck is this goddamn game, bro? <coughs> you. What did you do to Joshua? The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. 
Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? What are you talking about? Light is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is. But suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Bro, oh, come on! <coughs> Again! Bro, did I not just say I don't have no potions, bro? Oh, boy, I better pull. <laughs> oh, I pulled the most biggest wheel of my life, bro. Get the fuck out of here. That was so smooth. And I pull a parry. And another parry. No. Fuck out of here. All this fire and fury and for what? Stop it. Oh damn, don't got potions. A foolish notion fed to you by a foolish man. Oh uh, hell no, you're not gonna pull a Virgil on me. That's not how we're going down. I shall cut you free. Nope. Oh no, I think I'm dead. Okay, I think that was supposed to happen. 
Come on. <coughs> Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominants? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his. And yet, every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. Ah, shut up. The icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominants are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is... Feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. <coughs> Turn back. Yeah, we're not going to do that. How long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills? It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves. And we'll do it on our own terms. Yes, sir. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. Wait, is the wire about to come down? The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Uh, can we get the fuck out of the fucking, you know? Please. Oh, she's not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <sighs> Bruh, stop her. <laughs> oh. 
Don't look back! I love that music, bro. That, that that's that's hard. Bro, this game it just keeps getting good and good and better and better, bro. And oh my fucking god, I can't even end the damn stream. <laughs> bro, I'm about to no, oh, this shit about to be in four hours. <laughs> The others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they would have seen the ice. Where it led. We need only wait till dawn. And they're naked. <laughs> Torgo. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. Powerless against him. Maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... the things that make me who I am. Do you, though, think of what you've used that power for? Of all the people you've saved? It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good Facts. Haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? You're still that same boy I grew up with. Aww. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might. But I keep forgetting that they're naked. <laughs> no one is beyond saving, provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive, and you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. What do you mean? To give you what you need to protect us all. Huh? Jill, are you gonna give me your powers? This burden, <coughs> I'll 
will give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. These burdens I carry, my sins, my pain, my sorrow, I see now that they are all a part of me. Okay, now this is actually kind of epic, but God. God, just kiss already. To escape this fate, find a way to save each other. My nigga, Together. if y'all two do not do a fucking kiss, I'm going to scream my lungs out. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. Please. I know. Just, God damn it, what's taking y'all so long to do it? I forgot that red shit is still there, but thank you, fucking Lord. Finally, they're officially a couple. Thank you, God. And I have clothes on. I like this. <laughs> I forgot this. I forgot this big ass thing is here. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on Storm without her. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm going to do that for another stream. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. 
Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Oh my god, finally! Yes! Bruh, I done did a four hour stream for y'all niggas, bro. Bruh, please let me end this shit. I'm ready to go to sleep. Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a talk tale. But it's tall, and then it's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherjah, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sell for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Finally. The power of ice. Joshua, assuming Talia will allow it. Yeah, sorry, Claw, but fuck no. I'm about to end the stream right fucking here. I done did a four hour stream for y'all. I'm surprised I even made it this damn far. Wow, and the last one is gonna be that nigga shit. I had a fucking feeling. It, I had a fucking feeling it was. I'm gonna have to try that out outside of this shit. But anyway, this was another good stream tonight. Like my brain is still processing all this other crazy ass bullshit in this fucking game. Still is fucking good by the way, but what I'm just like what in the entire fuck is like what the fuck's going on? But on on top of that, I am happy that Clive and Jill are a fucking couple now. These two better get a fucking happy ending in this goddamn fucking game. Because if not, I'm going to lose my shit. But anyway, I'm going to end the stream right here. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And also leave a comment if you feel like it. And share with your friends. I'm going to check you guys again. Peace.